It's the first full day of the start of Ramadan. Muslims all over the world starting their fasting. That means nothing to eat or drink until sunset. And before the pan pan pandemic, believers gathered for nightly prayers and dinners after fasting. But the stay-at-home order will mean these traditions will look a little different. Join us now to talk about Ramadan in the time of pandemic is Imam Hishim al Casey with the Islamic Foundation in Villa Park. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. How will the rituals you think be different during this pandemic? So we've already begun experiencing this as well as I'm sure many other faith-based communities are going through a lot of these difficulties and hard times right now. Uh, the Islamic community typically celebrates Fridays as a holy day, similar to like a Christian, uh, a Christian Sunday service. So for the last six weeks or so, we've moved to an all online platform, trying to still keep our community engaged spiritually especially in these hard times. Uh, so we've been moving all to online. We've been doing a lot of uploads on Facebook as well as YouTube, just keeping to, just trying to keep the message out there. Uh, we've been encouraging our community to take you know, their own responsibility for a lot of the spiritual benefits and spiritual uh, journey that each and every one of us takes. Whereas before we could have been able to rely on the masjid, on the mosques, on the imams, on our preachers, on our spiritual guides to help us through situations. Now it's really turning into a situation where we have to step up ourselves. And this is really one of the central tenets of our faith, where we as an individual are going to be selfly responsible before God. So in Islam and what we're doing nowadays is, yes, a lot of our faith relies on the communal aspect, allows on our, our camaraderie, being there for one another, praying together, breaking our fast together, starting our fast together. Now we're going to have to be shifting that all into the home. Yeah, that goes for charitable giving as well, right? That's another big tradition with Ramadan, and it normally involves lots of people. Most definitely. Charitable giving is a huge aspect of Ramadan. If you think about one of the purposes of Ramadan is to show thanks to God for what we have. Now, given that we're not able to come into contact with one another, the Islamic Foundation and other masajid uh, Islamic centers in the area are doing this as well. As recently as last Sunday, we did a drive-through uh, grocery distribution to the Villa Park and Lombard area community. This was open for everybody in the neighborhood. And uh, it was well received. I'm glad to say that we distributed over 300 boxes of groceries, uh, including you know pasta, flour, uh, pasta sauce, uh, sugar, things like that, staple food items. And it was completely contactless. So we put out the advertisements. We're thankful to the uh, the president of Villa Park, uh, Ms. Bullwinkle. She was able to advertise this for us for us on our behalf as well. And we had about 300 people show up. Everybody, you drive through. Uh, open up your trunk, somebody's going to completely contactless, place a box of, of groceries in your trunk, and then we drive off, really helping us to put uh, our faith in action. And this is one of our big goals and one of our mantras, this, uh, this, particularly this Ramadan, is how do we put our faith in action? Uh, Imam, at the end, I know the culmination is a big celebration, similar to the Christian Christmas, the Eid al-Fitr. What will happen then to, when everyone comes together? It's huge, right? And typically it is huge. Here I'm at the Islamic Foundation. You can see obviously we're empty right now. Uh, this place would have on the day of Eid about 10,000 people coming through at any one of those three prayer services that we provide. As the stay-at-home orders have already been extended to May 30th, we will definitely not be having those Eid prayers here at the Foundation. Uh, so we as a community are going to have to come together to see how can we still keep the essence of these celebrations without the uh, coming together part. So this is again going to point to us having to focus ourselves on our connection with God, to focus ourselves on our spiritual development. Thank you so much, Imam. We really appreciate it. And do you say happy Ramadan? Happy Ramadan to you. Thank happy you. Happy Ramadan. Thank Thanks you so much. Be safe, time, be Imam. well. Be safe and be well. Thank you. Coming up, Ryan